All right. Here's one of our favorite movies of all time. 1992's A League of Their Own. Fair or foul? Uh, totally fair. Uh, I do love that movie. It's one of my favorites. Uh, you know, the all-girls professional baseball team uh, it basically chronicles their, their lifespan in baseball. Very historic, very funny. Um, you know, Madonna, uh, 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 Gina Davis. Uh, they're, they're incredible actors in, in that movie. And, and Tom Hanks, like he, he really was very comical as, as the quote. You can't, there's no crying in baseball. <laughs> Some of the things he says in that movie, besides that line, people, uh, you get to watch it again. It's hilarious. Like he's just, I didn't even realize, like when you're younger, you don't realize like, Tom Hanks is in it. It's like even now you're watching it and forget who t- Tom Hanks is like. You're like, the Castaway, this guy? Is this really him from Philadelphia? He just he, he just morphs into that character of chewing tobacco, spitting, and the you know old school like uh, little league, minor league manager stereotype. I definitely give it a fair as well. I mean, it's one of the fairest movies in general out there. It's so entertaining. I mean, the cast is huge when you look at it now. It's like Rosie O'Donnell's in there. Yeah, like I said, Madonna, you know, nice young Gina Davis. Oh man, there's so many good actors in that. Movie. Yeah. But uh, definitely giving that a fair. Uh, so stadiums, uh, we're going to go with the Nationals Park. Fair or foul? Uh, truly fair for me. It's one of my favorite ballparks. Um, this, this, where the stadium is located near uh, the Anacostia River, which flows into the Potomac River. Uh, I, I went there with my uh, family a few years ago. Uh, we, we sat in the nosebleeds uh, of the stadium. <laughs> And it was absolutely fantastic. The view was great. Uh, It's a great fan experience, great ballpark, good food. Um, You know, they're they're developing all around uh, all around the area uh, with, um, you know, shops and restaurants nearby. So definitely a a fair for me. One of my favorite ballparks. 100% uh, fair for me as well. I was there uh, last year uh, during my bachelor party tour of the baseball stadiums. Um, yeah, they have a, it's a beautiful ballpark. I did not expect to, to, to like it the way I did when I walked in. It's nicely structured. Uh, everything, the colors are great. The, the outfield, the, the dimensions, or you can see the game from anywhere. You can stand in different areas and watch uh, over the railings. There's a lot of sure, standing, sure. standing room kind of areas to watch. And uh, they do have that, the, the bullpen outside of this, just outside of the stadium, where it's just this big, like, uh, ship, almost like a shipping container area where they, they use shipping containers actually to for bars and uh, food and stuff like that, and they have big screens there so you can hang out there before, after, during the game and, and watch stuff. But the ballpark itself, it was beautiful. Um, the skylight once it got dark was nice, um, but they do have like really good fans. Like surprisingly, they they had respectable but knowledgeable baseball fans. And they had this one guy in the stands behind us. He'd stand up whenever a guy would get switched in the outfield, he'd or any switch. He'd stand up, and then after the announcer already announced the switch, he would tell everybody to switch. He'd just yell out, now, now, in right field. <laughs> I'm like, why is this guy yelling? So apparently, he goes to like, other ballparks and does this. He goes to Baltimore and does the same thing, but he's a he's a staple there. So Nationals Park, yeah, the food is the uh, sausage there. Oh, man, one of the best things I ever ate. They definitely they earned that World Series title. Uh, so hopefully, we brought him some good luck last year. So the rule that we're going to talk about this week is intentional walks, fair or foul? Um, well, years ago it was foul for me because, uh, you know, the the pitcher just pitches like four four uh, tosses four pitcher uh, pitches to the to the catcher to uh, intentionally walk a batter. But now they've completely um, you know deleted that from, from <laughs> yeah. the game itself. <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, like once, once the batter batter goes up, he's told to, oh, take first base, he'll gladly take first base. So, um, it really speeds up the game. Uh, it's fair for me now because they, they totally, uh, you know, got rid of like the four pitches. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fair for me now. I think, uh, yeah, the, the, the rule change is fair. I still think the intentional walk in itself is, is completely foul. I mean, I don't know why they invented it. I know why they invented intentional box in the first place. Um, also known as intentional base on balls. That's the, the intentionally the intentional walk about it. Term, intentional, unintentional, intentional walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the, yeah, I mean, it's 
obviously it's, it's issued to a batter by a pitcher with the intent of removing the batter's opportunity to swing at the pitch ball. That was the definition they give it. But I mean, I don't understand why this rule exists. I mean, if a walk is as good as a hit because of its potential influence on upcoming plays, but like, why is this even considered a strategy? Like, isn't the whole point of the pitchers versus hitters to see who wins a matchup? Like, that's the whole name of the game, you know? Like, uh, I mean, the, the stats only been tracked since 1955, but they, I remember reading that the previous years and decades, they were trying to change rules around for different scenarios of when you can and can't do an intentional walk and all that. Um, but yeah, 2017, they changed the rules so the managers can just go to signal to have a player go at first. I still think you need to, you need to play the game to win it. So to have, just say, oh, take a free pass. I don't want, I don't want you to hit. And then generally, a lot of times, the next guy up comes and gets a, a big hit. So it really sometimes defeats the purpose. But at the same time, you really have, you should earn the win. You should earn to get that guy out. Like it, to me, it's just a cop out. Well, other sports don't have this kind of thing. Like it's like imagine uh, uh, Steve Nash, great free throw shooter. You know, he gets fouled near the end of the game, and they're trying to the other team's trying to climb, trying to get the ball back. There's only a couple seconds left. And they go, they foul Steve Nash, and they go, you know what? We're just going to give him the two points. And he's just giving people free stuff. That's not how sports is supposed to be. Like, I never liked this rule to begin with. It was, it was funny when they used to do it, to, when he, the, the pitcher actually throw the ball and, like, they miss it or throw it to the backstop or somebody like your boy, Miguel Cabrera, would hit that ball. Uh, <laughs> Vladimir Guerrero would hit anything that, <laughs> that was coming anywhere near or off from the my, From a meter away. But holy cow, I, yeah, I don't know. Intentional walks and intentionally foul on my part. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below.